Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, and it is that time of year, the time of year where Halloween stores seemingly appear overnight. And here at the Asheville Mall, here in Asheville, North Carolina, we have the Halloween Express big orange tent that pops up every year here in the parking lot. It's been a very unusual year. You know, I think we weren't sure um, if the Halloween stores were going to pop up, but they have been popping up in droves. So we are going to check out the Halloween Express. So please follow me. Check out these animatronics. Got the Grim Reaper riding a fire breathing horse. What's he saying? Got this big dragon right here. Oh, no. oh look at that. Breathing, he's breathing out smoke. It's a lot like the Game of uh, Thrones dragon. Of course, we got this clown guy over here. He just stopped moving. Oh, there he goes. This big pumpkin creature right here. Oh, look at him go. Oh, this, this uh, Grim Reaper here, this demonic Grim Reaper is the child dangling. Okay. These skeletons here are pallbearers. Same carry in that coffin. Really, this is really exciting, all this going on at once. See the scarecrow. I don't know if you have to. Whoa! There, that was a real jump scare right there. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, that Pennywise. And enjoy the festivities we have in store for you. Fun, laughter, fear, mayhem, terror. By the end of the evening, we might even have a death count. Good guy. They have quite a variety of masks here. It's a dragon mask. It's a big, weird, bulbous alien head right there. You see all these creepy animal masks. Be a weird looking pug. Is this Bart Simpson mask? Full headed Bart Simpson. Oh my goodness. I do find these interesting, these makeup masks. I guess you just, uh, but you don't have to actually apply makeup, you can just put this clear mask and you're wearing makeup. And I think it adds, uh, probably adds a little bit of an extra creep factor. Yeah, it's called a clearly creepy mask. Weird shark mask there. I'm not even sure how that fits on your face. Now this here actually goes over your mouth and nose. It could be used as a, uh, as a cloth protective mask. Let's see what it does. It doesn't do anything because people have been pushing this for days. Now it's out of batteries. Bunch of accessories, just piles here of top hats. Lots and lots of top hats. I guess a lot of Halloween costumes call for top hats. What's this? This is some sort of uh, some sort of steampunk helmet right there. It's a little little voodoo hat. Or if that's for if you have your head shrunk. Oh, here's a Toto. A little Toto that go along with your Dorothy costume. And these are kind of the iconic masks, the different slashers, the Pennywise, Michael Myers, Jason. Although, why is that Jason mask so, so wide? I don't know. And there's Freddy up there. These masks down here. These are all pretty spooky. It's 
a giant hamster mask. Furry face mask. Teddy bear, as in teddy bear. It's a teddy bear. It's a play on teddy bear, but that is pretty spooky. Not really spooky as much as horrifying, I'd say. And here we have a panda, panda version. Oh, he's got, he's got blood all over his pretty white fur. I even have some dog costumes here. Your dog can be a bee or a witch. Wear a Mexican sombrero, a cowboy hat. Or you can make your dog wear devil horns. You know, animals don't like things strapped to their head, at least in my experiences. Here you have little animal noses. If you just want, you know, just a little bit of a costume, you just want to be a normal person with a pig nose, just a human with an animal nose, very popular costume. You get an elephant. Oh, cow nose. I don't know. I think just wearing a nose and no mask, that's kind of creepy. But maybe that's what they're going for. Oh, look at that kid. All these brightly colored wigs. And then down here, I guess these are, it says a wig, but it's like made of rubber. This is like, is this like anime hair? It's kind of intriguing. Yeah, it's like, you can have hair like an anime character. Up here, it's the political masks. Unfortunately, Halloween does fall near election time. So you got, uh, Current President Trump, there's some old presidents too. I think that's Nixon and Reagan up there. We have some uh, ghastly Obama masks. Is that supposed to be Dracula Obama? A lot of really cool masks up there. Some really terrifying ape masks. There's nothing is more terrifying than a wild ape on the loose. And look at all these ghoulish wolf masks. Look at that one in the middle there. It is so like gory and terrifying. Then we have uh, our clown section. Look at all those clown masks. That is the, oh man, I always forget his name. The clown from uh, American Horror Story. Mixed in there. There's Captain Spaulding up there at the top. Is it Twisty? Twisty the clown? From American Horror Story. And of course, I think there's some Pennywises there at the top. Oh, nothing like a good old clown to cheer you up. This up here is more like ghouls and zombies. And there's some, some Frankensteins. Look at that. I like that uh, upside down face, man. Pretty insane. Are different scarecrows. These are, I don't know what that is, but that's that's ghoulish. It's almost like a smiley face made of human skin. Oh, I see this up here. Okay, this one right here. When I was in Spirit Halloween, I called that Momo. Apparently, I was I got my creepy pastas crossed. That is Jeff the Killer. I was corrected. Here's some accoutrements for various costumes. There's like a uh, fanny pack for your leg for a police costume. There's a giant hypodermic needle if you're going as a doctor or a nurse. Apparently this is the world's tiniest pirate hat. I thought these were for dogs, but apparently these are tiny people hats. We got some full-headed animals up there. A dog, a panda, Scooby-Doo. And you have these costumes here just in case if you want to go as a uh, as a weirdo for Halloween. Yeah, something about these bodysuits creeps me out. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love I love how uh, versatile this costume is. You could be a businessman or slender man. I guess it just depends on how slender you are. Some couples costumes go as milk and cookies. Go as two halves of an Oreo. You can go as a guy riding on a snake, uh, I guess. Now this is uh, an interesting idea for a costume. This is a facial tattoo. Captain America facial tattoo. You just stick it on your face. 
it's a it's a that's a creative way you can only you can spend six dollars on that for a costume it's much cheaper than getting a a real tattoo done on your face some uh, big creepy baby costumes no oh, jumbo baby diaper very very practical have a little uh, ghoulish yard gnome there and then uh, to let people know you're not available there's a sorry we're dead sign to hang on your door this thing I guess just peeks out of your window it's known as a creepy peeper and that's a chalkboard tombstone so you can change what it says every day some uh, body parts here oh look at that's like a crawling hand oh oh sorry guy oh they're all crawling now it's like a bloody skull all these different skeletal animals a little skeleton pig skeleton dogs and cats now here we have a skeletal owl and that is actually really incorrect because most people don't realize this owls actually have very long necks that arch down almost like a flamingo they don't have short necks now this is the uh, assorted body part section got corpse feet Corpse hands, little bag of eyeballs there, little baggies of severed fingers. There's a mix and match part, different different body parts. What's wrong with these eyes here? Why are they so red? It's a little shadow box. A witch flying over a cemetery. See what this raven does. Oh, turns its head. Very spooky. See what this skull here does. Oh, very pretty. It is the wall of weaponry. You know, you wouldn't think uh, Halloween costumes require so much weaponry, but apparently they do. There's the devil's pitchfork, the axe for beheadings machine gun a bow and arrow look at this big spooky face right there that's pretty cool oh we got our row of chainsaws up there it's a sugar daddy cane i guess rich man rich men who uh who date uh, young women this is the type of cane that one of them would carry oh my gosh we got a pickaxe barbed wire baseball bat there's a caveman club some boxing gloves there all different types of swords you can put these around the backs of your uh, dinner table chairs to make them tombstones and then they have a pre-bloody shower curtain you just hang that up and your bathroom looks like a horrific crime scene so that so look inside Halloween Express. This is the Asheville, North Carolina location, but there are pop-up locations all over the country, of course. And I'll continue looking at uh, other Halloween stores, Halloween-themed uh, places. Uh, if you'd like to see other places I have been in the past, check the interactive map in the description of this video. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. Um, also now selling two different types of enamel pins in the Etsy shop. Until next time, this one's in the bag.